Guys, you ain't going to believe this. I'm getting ready to drop all these rumors together, compiled together, because I love covering rumors. That's like one of my favorite things to cover, because you get to do a bit of detective work, and then you get to figure out, okay, is this plausible? Does it line up with other things that you, you've heard? Is it economically feasible? Just really fun to cover rumors. <laughs> about the Xbox Direct might be announced today, and it already was announced today. <laughs> oh. So we're going to talk about the Xbox Direct announcement but before we do i want to issue a correction a lot of outlets are saying that this new format for or rather i should say that this new direct is going to have this new format that's been re quote unquote refreshed the person they're quoting did not say that they said i don't know about a shadow drop i'm coming from at it from the games that are being shown plus the format itself being refreshing so he didn't say this is being refreshed he said I really enjoy it because the way they're presenting it is very well done. So here's the actual formal announcement. It's coming the 18th, 12 p.m. PT, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT. Okay, that G looks like a 6. That threw me for a loop. We're going to get Oxide Games talking about their game, Obsidian, so Avowed, Ninja Theory, Hellblade 2. And the Indiana games from Indiana games, Indiana Jones game from Machine Head Games, and that basically that's what's being covered here. Indiana Jones game, we'll see Avowed. Noxide games are a history untold. Now that is a civilization like game, and I like me my civilization like game. So that one there is excited for me. Sasuna Saga, Hellblade Two, you all know what that is. It's going to be the Uncharted for Xbox. It, by that, I mean it'll do for Xbox what Uncharted does for PlayStation. Here they're talking about how 2024 is going to kick off the bang for Xbox Game Pass members. What they're referring to is likely a stealth drop that we're going to be getting during the Direct. Earlier it was rumored that it would be Double Fine's Kiln. And Kilm is a multiplayer brawler game, so unless there's a second stealth drop, I uh, really temper your expectations. There's a demographic for brawlers. I'm not part of it. It's kind of a milk toast, kind of, oh, cool, we got a stealth drop. Anyway. But yeah, Vowed, RS, and Suda. Then afterwards, ZeniMax Online is going to host the next uh, Elder Scrolls Online presentation. It'll t show the new chapter, new zone, new storyline, and other major features coming in the game's biggest update this year. There will probably be a couple surprises, but yeah, on the 18th, Xbox dropping direct. We're going to see some games that we know they're coming out. We're going to get some new looks at games that have been announced. A lot of people are hoping that Obsidian took the criticism of the art direction during their last showcase for Avowed and tweaked it to be more presentable. I wouldn't get my hopes up, but let me say this. Uh, not many games the city has made that I did not enjoy playing. So I can put up with a bit lackluster graphics if the gameplay is good, and I do expect good things from Obsidian. What game are you guys excited for to see in this direct? Or, you know, you're... Thank you, stream. Actually, no, no, I'm going to give you mine. I hope we get some State of Decay 3 information. I love me my zombie games, man. All right, I don't care what people say, like, there's too many zombie games. You ever hear that so many times? And they can't really list how many zombie games came out that year, because realistically, there's not that many zombie games dropping each year. It's a really played out slogan that there's too many zombie games. I want to see some State of Decay 3. Will I get that? Probably not. That will probably come at E3, but a man can hope. What are your dreams for the showcase? Drop it in the comments. Hit the like. Subscribe if you so desire. Peace.